morning. Tuesday 8th of May. So the great night camping here. Nature camping or wild camping. Yeah. Now we're gonna to go to a place called Egidia today. I've heard about that. It's supposed to be a really nice town, so 70 kilometers from here. Mm. Let's see if we can get there today, we should be able to. It's a bit early today, we're up. Also have some good news on the Iran uh, visa travel project. It's a travel company I've been writing to the last few days has given me some prices yesterday for uh, to have a guided driver that will collect us at the border. So that uh, doesn't seem too bad actually, better than expected. So it uh, looks like it may even be possible to go to Iran, but uh, now we have to send them in itinerary of uh, where we want to go and we'll make expect we'll get to the border so uh, and they have to book all the hotels for us everything has to be booked before we make the the visa application so uh, we'll see if that's possible if they can get the I think it takes a few months they actually said oh it can take one, one month two months to get all the paperwork in order so we'll see if that's uh, if that can all work out but, um, if it does, then we might uh, they'll collect us at the border. Then we'll be driven to Tehran, have a day or two there. Then we'll go to Isfahan, which is another fantastic place to visit, um, popular place with tourists. Then a place called Yats, I think it's called, and then from there to Shiraz. So we'll see all the main four main four towns that are nice to visit. And from there, we'll fly from Shiraz to Uzbekistan, maybe. So uh, that's the rough plan at the moment. So, uh, so far there may, may be a possibility. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope that works out. But, uh, we'll be in contact with them the next few days. So, okay. I think we have to get packed away now. away now, leave this great spot, wild camping spot, I've just marked it on an app called iOverlander. So uh, if anybody else is travelling this way there's an app where you can go on called iOverlander and you can uh, search the map and find wild camping spots that other people have found and marked on the map. Quite good really, you can uh, find out where they are and take a picture of the place and tell people what it's like here. So this is a it's a really good spot, it wasn't marked on the map before, so now I've done that. And here's Jamie. Yeah. Okay. Let's get going. Okay, we're heading into the mountains today, so I just found this borax shop. Got some of these things here. They're always good to put in the bag. So, put some food there, tank up with water, and then away we go. Lots of modern apartments in this town here. I'm sure where we're going in later today will be completely different. But, uh, here it's quite modern. <laughs> Turn the border, back on the road. Uh. Okay, just turned off the main road now, heading across the mountain to Asparti. I think it's cool. Really steep climb. I think on here. A few hundred meters left to go up, but already just a very short distance. We climbed a lot. Okay, Jamie's just spotted the summit here. I just came up from there. Okay. <laughs> 
so I had to stop the filming quick because there was huge ducks who came running out from the house but luckily they didn't leave the actual the actual premises of the their house they stopped <laughs> first time we've seen such big dogs without not chained up but uh, they're just making a noise that wasn't that dangerous <laughs> this is the location for lunch today closed down restaurant luckily we bought our own food with us and maybe you have somewhere nice weather in Denmark but we do not here in cold Turkey oh. cold and we just got the waterproof clothes out Look at this. I thought that was put away in the bottom of the bag for a long time, but no, I had to get it out again. Ooh. So, we'll see when we get to a town, maybe 10 kilometers or so, and see if we get inside and get a warm cup of tea yeah. to warm up. Looks like downhill the rest of the day. We're going down to a town called Esparta. Approaching the centre to tell we're just gonna bike straight through. So where they get the work done here. Called a straight road. So they made this with a ruler. <laughs> oh, perfect road now. Smooth, straight, slightly downhill, and hardly any wind. So now we're approaching the town here. So we now made it to Ekidia. So the name of the place. Ekidia, yeah. Close to 70 kilometers, I didn't think that would be possible today. It was a bit slow going this this morning because we had to go up a hill and the town mark was bad a bit further up, but all of a sudden Really, really good new road and downhill. I think we biked downhill since lunch for 40 kilometers. <laughs> so, I'm afraid to think of if they had to bike the other way, that would have been awful. So, yeah. but now we made it. Here, we've got the rain clothes on, so oh, a nice <laughs> cup of tea. Chai? Yeah, yeah. Chai. And we just met uh, another biker, a man from Spain. Mm -hmm. That's the first we have met since. Greece, yeah. Sure. Yeah. So that's it for now. Yeah. Okay. We just found a nice simple room here. We've just been in the shower down the hotel and it's amazing on these biking trips when we've been out in the wild for a couple of days and just to go in the shower then that normally at home you just take for granted and you don't think much about it and go in the shower all the time. You come in the shower here then oh we just feel so comfortable and perfect again. We learn to appreciate the oh <laughs> more dogs. They're more sleeping dogs. More dogs sleeping. <laughs> Have a hard life <laughs> On these trips we come to appreciate little things just Yesterday we went into a tank station toilet and then we come out and say Oh, there's toilet paper in there and there's soap Then that is like like a little experience and, and we get like the other day when we were biking and it was cold and then we just came in and had a nice little cup of hot tea then ah, oh, then that's like a, a nice experience of the day so, so little basic things sometimes that that we need on this, these trips to have a little adventure. <laughs> this is 
what's going to be keeping us awake tonight about 10 o'clock <laughs> 5 o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> Let's find some food again. Yeah, we That's need That's all we food. think about really. That's all we do, isn't it? Bike, <laughs> yeah, bike sleep and eat. Biking around the world is simple. You just be able to <laughs> bike, put the tent up, eat, sleep. Bike, put the tent up, eat and sleep. You do that in so many days and you go around the world. <laughs> it's quite easy really. We managed to find a restaurant that's not a donut kebab shop. <laughs> Looks like real food. We'll give it a go. Looks quite nice. This is a really strong chili in the circle. It's one of, one of the strongest uh, chili you can have. So you need to wash your hands after you have eaten. So I tried. Oh, it's strong. It is strong. Oh. <laughs> And the truth is that's probably one of the mildest pepper fruits you can buy in Turkey. <laughs> that's strong. Yo. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's got the different one than me. <laughs> okay, they mixed the peppers up. The one that I should have should have been strong. <laughs> These two chilies look exactly the same, but the one is a really, really mild pepper fruit, and the other one is a extremely strong chili. They look the same. And we said to Jamie, yeah, yeah, you can easily eat it. It's not sorry, oh, my nose is running for the You can easily eat it because it's that strong, and Jamie just puts it in his mouth, and it's like really strong, really spicy. Really spicy. Really spicy. <laughs> of modern Turkey, Atatürk. He's the guy that we see on nearly all the pictures, statues, all restaurants, coffee shops, wherever you go. Yeah. He's there. <laughs> and maybe you see a military base. Mm. Yeah. That. So there are many places with that statue. Yes. I've seen many places. Yeah. I have a lot and of respect for this guy. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere in Turkey so yeah. far. Okay, let's have a little walk around and let's go to sleep.